Something that isn't talked about enough is that if you have childhood trauma, it can make you numb or blind to red flags. You, it's like you don't even see that. Someone's not paying you any attention, they're self-absorbed, that's a Wednesday. People engaging in active addiction and can't show up for you, I can tolerate that, no problem. Feeling like the responsibility of the relationship is all on your shoulders and if something goes wrong, it's your fault. <laughs> great because then I can fix. Even if we were aware of and hated the manipulation, the lying, the toxic environment growing up, the truth is our bodies were conditioned to survive in it. We're familiar with it. It's like, oh yeah, this is normal. So when it shows up in future relationships and friendships and dating and work environments, we go, oh, I know how to deal with this. Our instincts kick in. It's not like we're consciously choosing to repeat the pattern. So learning what actual red flags are becomes important. Consciously carving out like, what are red flags? What are green flags? Sometimes you have to borrow someone else's conception of these things and kind of trust them so that we can start to trust ourselves.